Uh, there's a lot of things that people can do to help, uh, whether, whether you become um, interested in an organization, such as the, the Shambhala Preserve and the, the Rohr Foundation. Uh, it's important that you look into the organization to make sure that there's no breeding, no buying, no selling, no trading, no commercial use, adequate veterinary care. Not all veterinarians can take care of these animals, nor do they want to. They're dangerous. Um, um, uh, no commercial use and an, a habitat, not just an 8 by 10 cage. Um, uh, or you could get involved with, with an organization, um, possibly a zoo, that you can find out more about these animals. You can simply help by contributing financially. It's the national debt to keep these animals here. You know, we have to raise a, a, over a million dollars every year just to keep the animals here. Um, but there's, there's, um, Organizations everywhere, all over the all over the uh, United States, that that you can help with. Choose a, a species that you love, and find out where are they being housed. Where are the you know these animals that are born in captivity? Where are they? What's happening with them? There's a lot of things that you can do, and it's much appreciated as well. Uh, you know, my cats, my little domestics are 10 years old now. And sometimes I think that some of them, if they were lions or tigers, I'd be scared to death of them. There, is, there are such similarities to them. And I think that's why they were created, so that we could hug, hug the tiger and, you know, pet the lion and that sort of thing. But there's a tremendous number of... Um, Similarities. The, the problem is, is that with the big cats, you're dealing with a, another entity completely. <laughs> <laughs>